Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Resurrection Chess plugin. So this is a Death Chess plugin that is slightly different to the other ones and normally when you die with the Death Chest it will drop in your current location and you'll have to make your way back to it to retrieve your stuff. This one is slightly different. You will define a chest and location where you want your death chest to be and then you can easily go back and grab your stuff so you could put it in a cave or in your home base or house wherever and that would make it so much easier to retrieve your items. So I've set this one up over here so if I were to do the kill command like so and hit respawn so I've come back to the chest location if I open it up you can see all of my diamonds are here as well as my sign and chest. It's as easy and as simple as that to retrieve your items as you don't have to go all the way back to whatever mob or player you are fighting that might be camping it now. So what we can do is go ahead and destroy it like so and make a brand new one. Now you've got to use normal chest, it can be a single or a double one which is nice. And then if we shift right click and put in square brackets death chest on the top line, hit done and then it will work if it now changes to pink and red with the text that says you've created your death chest and then we could even make it bigger like so or just keep it as a single chest. So those are your options for it to work and that is how it works in game. Let's head over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. You can see there is a player data YML file, don't need to worry about that. And then there is the config.yml. There's not too much in here. We've got the input name, so death chest in square brackets. And then do you want armor durability to be affected on death, yes or no? And how much should it be lowered by um, and it's set to 100 by default? Then we've got various messages that we will see in chat. Do you want particle effects on the death chest? And these are the ones that you will see. Any blacklisted worlds that you can't create them in, such as creative. And then do you want to store XP as well in the chest as items? And then the percentage that it keeps, so 75%. So nice and simple to customize it in the config file. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.14 to 1.19. I was using 1.20 and that was working great. You can see this is what it looks like with the particles working. Looks pretty cool. And it is a nice simple plugin with only one permission, which is the use permission. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.